pose and bending man uh, diagram So calculation of shear force, shear force at B, can anyone, shear force at B, so exactly at B we will be having a 2 kilo Newton force or uh, we can consider another uh, section to the right of the section what are all the forces means that is shear force so 2 kilo newton is acting in the downward direction so right up left down is positive right side of the section upward force is positive here it is downward hence a negative value of 2 kilo newton shear force at b and shear force at c so consider the section at c Sorry, shear force at C plus shear force at D. Shear force at D means you can consider again any section to the right of D or left of D. If your section is, I can draw another diagram. So, the UDL, this is the point D. Right. So, whether the section is over here or whether the section is over here, based on that the value will get vary. So, now I am considering the section to the right of D and very close to D. Very close means in terms of point not, not, not 1 meters like that means it is near to D. So, in that case what will be the shear force? Shear force at D to the right of D. I am writing like this. That is to the right of D when the section is here and in the section right side la, what are all the forces. So, we will be having only 2 kilo Newton. So, again the same 2 kilo Newton is acting. Shear force at D to the left. Now, the section is here. Is it clear? I can consider to the section to the this R and L means with respect to D whether the section is left side or right side accordingly you have to consider the loading. So now the when the section is left of section left of D means what are all the forces to the right of the section. Is it clear? So shear force at D L means to the left of D the section to be considered. And with respect to this section, if the right side line and the force are co, all the things we So, what are all the forces? Again, minus two kilo newton. And if the any distance are co, all the total load we need to consider, right? So, instead, what I am doing is, so if the any distance have been clear, but here in the problem, again, you will be having a point E, right? So, point E is given at that point a point load is given. So, what I am doing is I am considering this section XX instead of next to D L near to L badala, sorry near to D badala, XX which is also to the left of D yes or no. So, the section L, the section is left of D instead of near to D, I am going with near to E. So, in the section in Nagdabdina, section is left of D and right of E. Yes? Is it clear? So, shear force at D to the left, Abdingham Bodha, left of D the section is considered now with respect to this section what are all the forces to the right of this xx minus 2 kilo newton I can rub this 2 kilo newton and then you will be having a UDL of 3 kilo newton per meter and what is the distance between E and D now it is around 1 meter so minus 
3 into 1 which is a total load. Is this clear? Or I can say shear force at E to the right. In the section you can correct it. Is this point clear? Shear force at D to the left, shear force at E to the right, both are one and the same. One point ko right side and left side le, you have to consider the section and with respect to that section to the right side of the section what are all the forces are there you just sum it up algebraic sum of all the forces that is shear force yes in case of where point loads matto irundana it will be easy that one or point load keliyum enna enna shear force value nu we can sum it up that is easy whereas if both point loads and UDL are in the same uh, beam and that too over the UDL another, another point load is acting like in this case it's better it's always you have to find out with respect to point load I know the right side shear force to the left side right there is a you have to consider in the shear force diagram a drop point load or a rectangular portion the diagram podum bodu adu vandu miss pannuvanga so adukaga da enna pannu appadina we have to consider where both udl and point load is there adukku right side la section left side la section eduthu we have to consider shear force and both bending moment values yes so shear force at d in edukum bodu adukku badhila enna pannu throughout the uh, process always with respect to any point adukku right side la or section left side la or section eduthu adukku shear force value namak kandupidikkum so when you come to the point d to the right of d or section namak consider pannitom adukku right side la section ku right side la enna enna forces appadina only 2 kN that is what here right of d 2 kN whereas when the section is left of d appadinga bodu near to d illama i am just moving the section towards this end so udl is 3 kN and near to e varum bodu e ku near by right side Upper total length is 1 meter. So I can even find out shear force at uh, D to the left or shear force at E to the right between E and D kadela 0 0.5, 0 0.5 na section at the polar, that will be variation. Instead, I can find at D and at E near to the D and E. Is it clear what I am saying? Can you able to follow me? Yes. No response from any of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When you come to shear force at E, again to the right of E in the male L D to. So now consider shear force at E to the left. The section is this is point E to the left of E of the the section is over here left of E section. So, it is nearby left of the what I am considering is at C. It is nearby. So, left of E, right of C. Right? Shear force at E to the left or both are one and the same. The value shear force at C to the right. The value is, so if in the section right side, la, what are all the forces? So, here again 2 kN is there. So, minus 2 minus 3 into the distance is between C and D it is 2 meters and then minus 1. Sorry, I have to consider one more point. Shear force at D to the left okay and shear force at E. Sorry. So, shear force diagram and the point load on the drop we have to consider. So, to the right and left shear force at E to the right is the value. Okay. Shear force at E to the left. Left now very close to E. 
very close to here thing now minus 2 minus 3 into 1 minus in the point load 2 kilo Newton equal to 7 kilo Newton next is shear force at C to the right shear force at C to the right Upper section in the recording the minus 2 minus 3 into 2 in here. total distance is 2 minus 2 minus 10 kilo Newton is this clear yes ma'am next is shear force at A shear force at A podum bodu between A and C there is no loading so whatever the value at C will be of same thing right so minus 2 minus 3 into 2 minus 2 which is equal to minus 10 kilo Newton next is bending moment moment at B obviously it is 0 since free end moment at D which is 2 into 1 again it's a hogging moment 2 into 1 minus 2 kilo Newton meter and moment at E minus 2 into 2 and then minus can anyone 3 into 1 into 1 by 2 again moment at C minus 2 into so 1 2 3 3 meters minus total load is 3 into distance between C and D is 2 meters and tax at center hence it is 2 by 2 again minus this point load to be considered 2 into 1 moment at A equal to minus 2 into 3 plus 1 4 5 6 meters minus 3 into 2 total load and acts at 1 meter 2 by 2 plus moment about A in the remaining distance 3 minus 2 into distance is 3 plus 1 4 meter yes is this ok Can you give me the answer moment at E? 5.5? 5 .5. And here? 6, 6, 6, 12. 14. And here the answer is 1, 1 plus 3, 4. 24. 36 44 everything are sagging minus in terms of kilo newton meter right can we draw the bending moment diagram shear force and bending moment diagram okay i'll draw here itself
so shear force value because we can mark the points so shear force at b is 2 and then at d which is again uh, D is again two, and at E shear force at D to the right is two, and at D to the left is minus five. So here it is two, and again to the left is minus five. These are all the points, and shear force at E to the left, at E to the left is seven. And at C to the right is ten. So it is the value from here. It is uh, keep on increasing. That is the thing. Here it is ten, and then between A and C it's a constant. So two kilo newton. So wherever uh, point load comes, it's a rectangle. So between D and B, it's a rectangular one. There is no change in uh, load, and then from C from D to C, it is of UDL. As you know, for UDL, it's a linear variation. So we can connect. Sorry. Shear force at D minus two. Okay, at E to right minus five. In the mark, no wrong. I mark. Okay. Shear force. Okay. So from here to here. we can connect it through the linear line since from c to d will be having udl but there is another point load which is acting at e so for the point load will be having a uh, drop or a rectangular one so what we have to do is that is why i told you to find shear force value between uh, at e to the right and left and mari proportion solirna nan so from here from 2 it moves to the value of 5 and then it is minus 7 so there is a drop of minus 2 that is what this load 2 kilo newton is point load so from 5 it increase to 2 and then it increase to 10 kilo newton so if i the enna ho abdinna for udl so if you consider this portion alone this is for 2 kilo newton rectangle and idu vandu ungalku inda udl odadhu vandu this portion and this portion will come yes is this clear nama ipo normally inda rendu point idu shear force at d 2 kilo newton and shear force at e potu minus 7 potrundumna normally how they will connect is means only from 2 to 7 a inclined line that is correct if it is only udl is there since the point load is also acting over there you have to consider that point load which is having a drop or a vertical line right and then connect it from here to here because between a and c there is no load so it's a horizontal line so this is shear force diagram yes so in case of udl with point load na wherever point load comes will be having a drop in the uh, shear force diagram udl vanduchu appadina for which you will be having a linear variation so it's a rectangle and triangle that is what shear force diagram for point load is rectangle and for udl it is a triangular one and uh, coming to the bending moment diagram i can extend the lines here to the bottom yes so bending moment diagram for point load initially it is zero and then bending moment at d is minus 2 kilo newton and bending moment at e is 5.5 
and bending moment at C is 14 and then bending moment at A is 44. So always uh, inform the students that even though the diagram is a uh, rough diagram, it should be of in a proportionate manner. So here from 0 to 2 kilonewton, I can connect it between these two. It's a linear variation. So it is 2 kilonewton. After which there will be a UDL. So once UDL and point load is comes means so the dominating load is UDL. So between the C and D. C and D to be connected. Sorry, C and D to be connected using a parabolic line. Right? So in between parabola in the point on the I can even I can connect it separately. Here it is 5.5 and then a 14. You can even connect like this and then from these two these two how to connect these two from 14 to 44 is it a parabola or a straight line linear. it's a linear line you can connect it to linear line parabola no it's not a parabola it's a linear line so, are the doubtful are under the brain now? Yes, sir. I am previous. I see previous line is a parabola. Yeah, okay, that's fine. The yeah, last line is our linear line. Last one linear, yes. I can use some. Yes, it's a linear and then okay, it won't come. A parabola I can draw like this and then linear line yes this is the bending moment diagram this again negative bending moment it is of uh, hogging moment so it's a negative so only point is to be noted is where shear Point load and UDL both are uh, combined together while calculating shear force value at that point to the right of E and left of E to be considered so that this uh, drop line to be uh, there in uh, shear force diagram. If it is not so, connect that is the only mistake what uh, if they didn't consider to the right and left of any point where both UDL and uh, point load are uh, acting at the same point. Shall we move on to the next problem? Yes, ma'am. Shall we move on to the uh, simply supported beam? Yes, ma'am. So, in case of cantilever again, the support reaction Ra is as of this problem. It is minus 10 kilo newton and uh, the resisting moment ma is minus 44 kilo newton meter yes whereas in the case of simply supported beam the very first step what we have to do is we need to calculate the uh, support moment sorry support reaction then only it is possible for us to proceed with finding shear force at different uh, places Shall I go directly to the uh, problem or uh, uh, you want me to find out uh, for basic cases simply supported with midpoint load, with UDL and for all the cases? Yes? I couldn't get you sir. Can anyone say, go with the problem or uh, you want me to do the standard cases? If it is simply supported with midpoint load means maximum shear force and bending moment, 
with UDL, maximum shear force and bending moment corresponding diagrams. Okay, problem. Let's go. So, I will give the uh, diagrams alone. If it is of simply supported with midpoint load means, as we know, these are all the basic values which the student should know. So, wherever point load comes, the shear force diagram is of rectangle and for simply supported, this will be the uh, shear force diagram and one is positive and other one is negative because right side upward force is positive and then W kilo Newton it comes down and then again it is RB and the bending moment diagram for uh, simply supported beam is and here the value is W by 2 W by 2. They should remember all these uh, basic values and then the maximum bending moment occurs exactly at the point load where it is acting and the value is W L by 4 and this is positive. Always for a simply supported beam the bending moment diagram is sagging that is positive bending moment whereas in the cantilever it is of sagging always negative the sagging moment. And for a simply supported beam with eccentric load. Okay. Here is the support A and support B. And if this is eccentric load at a distance A and B, the shear force diagram of again two rectangle and the values are W B by L sorry here it is W A by L support reaction and R A will be W R A when you know W into B by L R B is W A by L and the bending moment is so W B by L into A hence it is maximum bending moment is W A B by L either W A by L into B or moment about W moment about point C is W B by L into A and the third case is simply supported beam subjected to U UDL throughout the span while doing the problem we will uh, do with par partial uh, UDL so for which sorry have to change the uh, as you know for UDL the shear force diagram is a linear one hence it is the support uh, reaction is W L by 2 total load is W for UDL so total W into L acting over a span L meter na total load is W into L and where it acts na it is a rectangular one so it is exactly at L by 2. So W L acting at L by 2. So point load is W L na support reactions are it is exactly at mid. Hence here in the case W by 2 under mari anga W L by 2 half of W L. Hence it is W L by 2 here and here it is W L by 2 linear line. So you have to connect it with uh, two triangles. One is positive and other one is negative. So you can note down that in case of simply supported beam, there will be always change in shear force diagram. The shear force value will change from positive to negative or exactly at the beam line it will be of zero in all the cases whatever may be. So in the case of simply supported beam, shear force will changes its sign. Hence, 
where the shear force changes its sign there exactly you will be having maximum positive bending moment so enga and the change agudho andathla vandu you will be having maximum positive bending moment so in in the case of the combinations of loads are given means we have to find out maximum bending moment and accordingly we need to draw the bending moment diagram so if in the case la standard case so exactly l by 2 inga vandu where point load is acting we can find out there it is maximum bending moment occurs whereas in combinations of loading we couldn't able to find out exactly at which point so to find that we have a clue that where shear force equal to 0 there bending moment is maximum we need to remember this point at change of shear force diagram bending moment should be maximum so before uh, once you draw the shear force diagram and before drawing bending moment diagram you need to find out this point and then you have to complete the bending moment uh, diagram yes this is simple uh, these are all a simple uh, recap we will just move on to the uh, problem so simply supported beam so can you suggest any problem or can i do it by my own okay some udl 5 kN 5 kN this is around 3 kN per meter b and the total length of the beam is assume is 2 meter 1 meter 3 meter 1 meter 2 meter yes this is the uh, beam with loading so first thing is very first thing is to find ra and rb as in the case of uh, cantilever there is no need to find out the reactions we can directly uh, find the shear force at various points and complete the shear force bending moment diagram whereas in simply supported the very first step is finding out the support reactions so for which you have to draw the free body diagram so what is free body diagram means removing the supports and replace it with reaction so as you know simple support having only the vertical reaction in case if it is of hinged support means what we have to do is what we have to draw is so remove the support and replace with reaction means ra and ha if it is of hinged means inga vandu simple supports abdingumbodu we just no need to draw this uh, ha ra rb potittu what are all the external forces that you have to draw over the beam this is free body diagram right so removing the support and replace it with reactions in case if it is fixed in irundad appadina ra ha and ma that we have to draw it that is what a free body diagram so to find ra and rb we need to use equations of equilibrium which is sigma v equal to 0 that is sigma f is the basic equation here only the beam is subjected to vertical forces we can we can use this equation sigma v equal to 0 and another equation is since the simple support allows the rotation sum of moment of all the forces about support a or sum of moment of all the forces about support b is equal to 0 both the supports are simple appa enna aguna there is no resisting moment the rotate it allows the rotation appa resisting moment illa abindradha ma mb equal to zero so let's apply the equation sigma ma equal to zero so moment of all the forces to the right of a about support a is zero so consider this uh, diagram so we can come from rb rb into total distance 9 meter whether rb plus or minus can anyone so consider the section here to the right of the section rb rb into moment distance 9 meters which makes what moment clockwise or anti clockwise moment 
anti clockwise right side anti clockwise is positive and then 5 into distance is 3 plus 1 4 5 7 3 into 3 into 3 by 2 plus 3 and then 5 into 2 equal to 0 so what about the sign convention plus or minus for all these things so 5 into 7 which is of clockwise moment again 3 into 3 into other again that is a clockwise moment again this 5 into 2 which is also again a clockwise moment so to the right of the section all the anti clockwise are positive abdina clockwise are negative can you get me the value of rd can anyone 1.5 plus 3 4.5 9 into 4.5 we don't have calculator can anyone answer is anyone there it's around 9.5 kilo newton am i right yes ma'am 9.5 someone unmuted yes hence are you So to find R A, we need to use the equation sigma v equal to zero. That is sum of all the upward forces and downward forces equal to zero. So R A and R B are upward forces, and the downward forces are five plus five plus the total load for U D L is three into three. So U D L is acting only over. 3 meter span we not we should not consider the whole span of your simply supported beam so 10 plus 6 16 kilo newton so hence 16 minus uh, 9.5 is around uh, 10.5 sorry so 9.5 Yeah, ma'am. It is nineteen. Three into three. Sorry, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, ma'am. Nine point three. Symmetry, ma'am. Yes, yeah, symmetry. Nineteen. Yes, the distance as well as loading, everything is symmetry. So, if it is of uh, students means they have to do it on the procedure. For us, we can uh, directly consider it as uh, half of the uh, total load, right? So it is nine point five and nine point five kilo newton. now we can consider shear force at b shear force at b is rb and to the right of the section rd in upward direction hence it is positive value shear force at i can mention the uh, a b c d e f shear force at f at f to the right of f it is uh, rb left of f varumbodu right is rb shear force at f to the left so right and left r and l nradhu vandu i am considering the section so inga section consider pannana to the right only rb inga vandu section consider pandra appadina for this point load that is f to the f left of the section adha shear force at f to the left appo idukapram what are all the forces to the right abdina i am having these two so 
plus rb minus 5 i don't know how you people uh, practicing this maybe in some books they have mentioned between uh, f and b between f and e between shear force between d and e so and the mari podumbod enna agum appadina if it is of point load it will be ec where point load and udl combination is there and that will and the point load uh, will uh, forget to uh, add in the uh, shear force calculation so adanalada id right and left consider panni neenga potingna it will be easy so next is shear force at e to the right so shear force at e to the right means again the same value whatever comes in the previous uh, minus rb sorry plus rb minus 5 and then shear force at d to the right plus rb minus 5 minus 3 into 3 next is shear force at d to the right left erthingnalo adhe da varu ungalku so i can go with shear force at c shear force at c to the right abdingum bodu whatever the value of the above one rb minus 5 minus 3 into 3 whereas shear force at c to the left is plus rb minus 5 minus 3 into 3 and whatever the point load which is acting at c to be consider minus 5 and shear force at a is between a and c there is no loading so whatever the value in the above case the same thing will be for uh, shear force at a yes now we will do the calculation of bending moment so moment at b as you know since it is simple support moment at b equal to 0 as well as moment at a is 0 so moment at f equal to rb into 2 meters and which is positive or negative positive to the to the right of the section anti clockwise is positive and moment at e someone gave some uh, message yes what is the reason for adding the uh, right value in determining the shear force at left there can you unmute and ask me in which point sir yes ma'am any point uh, we have to calculate the right value and uh, also to calculate the left uh, and uh, at the left point we have to adding the right value so what the purpose to adding this no no to the, with respect to this section shear force abindrathu with respect to this section what are all the forces which are to the right of the section ella force ay nama sum pannu shear force is so algebraic sum of all the forces to the right of the section or to the left of the section so appa enna pandringa appadina if you are considering the section here in the section ninga consider panninga appadina to the right of the section these are all the forces rb is there and other point load is there so you have to consider both the forces and if you come over here to the right you will be having rb point load and this udl so each and every time to the right of the section what are all the forces which are there you have to sum all the forces yes sir now yeah, okay ma'am okay then so moment at e same rb into 
2 sorry 2 plus 1 3 minus 5 into 1 so can anyone get the values of these things so that it will be easy for me to draw the diagram or else I can give the uh, outline of the diagram moment at D plus RB into distances from uh, B to D is 3 plus 3 meters 6 meter minus 5 into 4 minus 3 into 3 into 3 by 2 whereas moment at C plus RB into distance 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 7 minus 5 into 4 plus 1 5 minus 3 into 3 total load which is acting at 3 by 2 distance and the moment about C of being about is plus 1 3 by 2 plus 1 so idu vandu indha mari practice panningna it will be easy if not students will always do 3 by 2 mattum poduvaanga wl squared by 2 so you make them to practice like this and again moment at a either you can write the equation and get the answer as zero or it will be obviously zero with respect to that condition only we have found out r a and r b yes can i draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so if the values calculated means then we will incorporate those values if not I can directly give the outline so let's see Shear force diagram. So RB is 9.5 and then the 9.5 is constant up to point F. There a drop of 5 kilo Newton. So 9.5 minus 5. So here is the value. So shear force at F. RB minus 5. So 9.5 minus 5 it is 4.5. And then again shear force at E to the right between E and F there is no loading. So the same thing will be constant up to this point after which there is an UDL. So shear force at E to the right is 4.5 and shear force at E to the left or shear force at D to the right. So what is the value 4.5 minus uh, 9 it is again minus 5.5 am I right yes 4.5 minus 9 it's around 5 uh, 4.5 so which is minus again the value is constant up to the point load and then a drop of 5 kilo Newton and which is again a constant. So this is the outline of uh, shear force diagram. You just get me the values of uh, shear force at different points. You can see shear force at D to the right, shear force at C to the right both are same. So that is why it is a constant uh, straight line. And then you have to add this 5 uh, this 5 kilo Newton which is acting at C. So add panning na, you will be getting another value. And then plus 5 abdin putting na, it's again 9.5. So it is 9.5. Can you able to follow me or not? 
I don't know how many participants are live in this uh, session. 9.5, 5 pochna, it is 4.5. Yes, this is what the shear force diagram. So it's a symmetrical one. Since the loading is symmetrical, the diagram should also be a symmetrical one. And the bending one diagram. So here uh, the value is 9.5 into 2, which is 18. are they 18 now? And then after which there will be again. Uh, okay. So here is the point and 18 and then there will be increase, more increase and wherever the shear force changes its sign, so there you will be having maximum bending moment. So how can I connect it means, so this will be of straight line and between these two also a straight line and here again straight line straight line and I have to connect it by parabola because these two portion is this is a portion where UDL acts so this is the uh, pending one diagram positive one and since uh, the loading is symmetrical, exactly at L by 2 distance, bending uh, shear force changes its sign. As per the experience, we can do it. If not, what we have to do is, where shear force changes its sign, on the point we have to identify it. For which, what we have to do is, either we can get the diagram from the shear force, or we can write the equation. This is the diagram. Nine point five minus sine is four point five. I think this will our value is also four point five. Am I right? And consider this as x, and the total distance is three minus x. Similar triangle concept. So for x, it is four point five, and for three minus x. It is again 4.5 since it is similar. So from this we can find out the value of x. Obviously it is 1.5 down since it is symmetrical. So either from x number consider from point D. So from D it is 1.5. So now we have to find before completing this curve line we need to find out moment at point A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G is the point where shear force changes its sign. So, moment at G is R, B into the distance is 2 plus 1, 3, 4.5. 4.5 minus 5 into 5 into 2.5. Minus mg in the maximum bending moment. And then UDL is, so here you could not write 3 into 3, where the point G is at a distance 1.5 meter. So 3 into 1.5 into 1.5 by 2. That is the maximum bending moment value. So, the bending moment value is Now, we can plot the point here and then connect it to the through uh, parabolic curve. Yes. In case, if it is of all the loads are point load, exactly at any one of the point load, the shear force changes its sign. So, there you can complete the bending moment diagram. At that point is only the maximum bending moment occurs. Yes. Any clarifications? Shall I move on to the next problem? Ok, 
Okay, next, uh, I'll move to the uh, overhanging beam since I'm having only uh, 20 minutes more to complete the session by 4.45. I'll directly move on to the problem. So the point which we need to remember in case of overhanging beam is uh, while finding the support reaction so where to take the uh, moment that is uh, sigma m a equal to 0 sigma m b equal to 0 using equations of equilibrium so when in this case in the overhanging beam if it is given like this means point a support b and here is the free in c in this case and if it is subjected to some loading like this so what we have to use is the basic equation sigma v equal to 0 is the first equation and the second equation sigma m so whether sigma m a equal to 0 or sigma m b equal to 0 as we all know that in case of simple support the resisting moment is 0 hence sigma m a or sigma m b is 0 whereas in this case sigma m a is 0 but not sigma m b since support b is middle portion it is act, it is uh, in the mid of the uh, beam so what happens means there be some negative moment in the support so ungalada beam oda deflection profile pathina between the simple support it will be like this and for the cantilever it will be like this so you will be having a negative moment at the mid portion of mid support so we cannot write sigma mb equal to 0 in this case so how to find out uh, support reaction means either we can find uh, using this equation sigma ma equal to 0 or i told that at the free end there is no restriction so everything is 0 everything is exists so sigma mc so rotation is also permitted abina there is no resisting moment Upper sigma mc equal to 0. We can use only sigma ma or sigma mc equal to 0, not middle support. In case, sorry, overhanging beam with left side overhang, right side overhang, left side overhang, being border. Now, this is A. B this point C or uh, support C. So in this case as usual sigma V equal to 0 and sigma M A we can make it equal to 0 since A is free end and sigma M C equal to 0 not sigma M B middle support so middle or kamboda and the support there will be some negative bending moment so while doing while drawing the bending moment diagram we can see and that will bending moment value varung so sigma mb vandu you should not make it equal to zero and you should not find the uh, support reaction in case double side overhanging beam so in that case Can anyone please? So if the uh, supports are named as A, support B, support C and other in free, uh, free end is D means what are all the equations? Equations of equations to find the unknown reaction RB and RC. sigma m a equal to 0 and sigma m d equal to 0 support trend me nama consider panna kudadu double side overhanging beam yes this is the point which we need to consider while uh, doing overhanging beam that is to find out the reaction and there is another important parameter or uh, point will be there so point of contraflexion in case of simply supported beam now over point is where shear force changes its sign their maximum bending moment occurs that is the added point than the uh, cantilever beam 
विच वी नीड टू कैलकुलेटेड कंडीपा शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम चेंजेस रुको प्लस टू माइनस परस कैंटी लिवर always shear force and bending moment diagrams are the or any one side either upper side of the beam line or lower side of the beam line whereas for uh, simply supported and overhanging beam shear force diagram will be on both the sides upper and lower side and simply support la bending moment diagram always positive overhanging varumbodu both shear force and bending moment both will changes its sign so the point of contra flexor is where bending moment changes its sign so obviously in the earthly end in the negative bending moment varudho aduk pakkathula ungalku vandu or bending moment change vandu sign changes irukum ungalku so that while doing the problem we will see it out so in overhanging beam the points to be noted is so while writing equations of equilibrium to find the support reaction we should not consider the middle support moment as zero there will be some negative bending moment that is a one point and we should, in the bending moment diagram we have to find out after completing the bending moment diagram we should locate this point of contra flexor so where the bending moment changes its sign right i can draw simply uh, the bending moment diagrams for uh, different combinations of loading for overhanging beam if it is subjected to like this means so this is the case means simple bending moment diagram is for which so load into distance is a triangle and uh, there will be some point load so appo idhula irundhu inga podumbodhu you will be having a triangular portion so appo enna aguna this is the point where bending moment changes its sign so this will be the point of contra flexion in case if it is of throughout the beam if it is uh, udl means udl so this is the cantilever portion for cantilever subjected to udl means you will be having a parabolic line like this yeah. and then this is the simply supported portion aduk udl irundad appadina the parabolic line so idu minus idu plus so bending moment changes its sign over here idu exact in the support la irukadu somewhere uh, near to the support so you need to find out the point at which uh, the bending moment changes its sign appo enna pannona mx equal to 0 eldum moment at this consider any section xx at that x distance moment equation eldi adu equate pannina 0 ku equate panna you will get x value then that is the point of contra flexor right in in case if it is these are all the simple uh, so in the mari irundad appadina so always remember that there will be change in uh, bending moment diagram for uh, overhanging beam so point load force into distance potamna it's a straight line and then between the simply supported span it is subjected to udl so obviously there will be a parabolic line so is a positive is a negative cantilever the overhanging is a combination of simply supported and cantilever i told that for simply supported is always sagging moment and cantilever it's a hogging moment so adanal da plus and minus rendu varudhu so change in bending moment diagram occurs yes it's do a problem in uh, overhanging beam sorry okay the point load of 2 kN is acting at the free end and the udl of again i can take around 3 kN per meter so 
sorry it's around uh, i can consider it as 4 meter this around 2 meters right so support a support b and the overhanging portion is bc so if the problem is described without any diagram means you have an overhanging beam of abc in which ab is simply supported span of 4 meter and bc an overhanging portion of 2 meter is subjected to point load 2 kN at the free end c and simply supported span is subjected to udl of 3 kN per meter this is what the description and now to find the uh, support reaction sigma v equal to 0 which is ra plus rb equal to 2 kN plus 3 times of 4 total load so totally 14 kN and sigma here in the in this case either sigma ma equal to 0 or sigma mc equal to 0 i can consider sigma ma equal to 0 so it's better you can draw the free body diagram r a r c r p and here it is c external loads these two so sigma ma equal to 0 means here from c you can consider 2 kN into the distance is 6 meters plus or minus can anyone 2 into 6 minus and then and then here rb rb into 4 meters plus or minus that is plus so rb into putting na this is anti clockwise to to the right of a anti clockwise is positive clockwise is negative and then if you come to 3 kN means 3 into 4 into 4 by 2 equal to 0 that is again minus So what is R B value? Twenty four plus twelve thirty six by four nine kilonewton. R A equal to five kilonewton. Yes. Now shear force at C. Minus two kilonewton shear force at B to the right. Minus two kilonewton shear force at B to the left. Can anyone? To the right, the forces are uh, whatever the force which is acting at C. Shear force at B to the left means minus two plus R B. that is to be consider next is shear force at before going to a you can consider at any point midpoint shear force at d to the right just minus 2 plus rb exactly at midpoint minus 3 into 2 shear force at a equal to Minus two plus RB minus three into whatever the RA value, which is shear force at A, minus three into four. Bending moment. Moment at C. What about moment at C? The zero, since it is free in zero. Moment at B, two into two, plus or minus, it is hogging minus. It's an anti-clock clockwise moment. And moment at A, put more the obviously zero, right? So where bending moment changes its sign, where maximum bending moment, everything to be calculated after drawing the. shear force diagram so i can draw the shear force diagram now okay 
okay so shear force at c is minus 2 kilo newton so minus 2 and then at b to the right is minus 2 and left is plus rb plus rb is 9 minus 2 plus 9 it's plus 7 and then shear force at d to the right is 6 plus 2 8 minus rb 1 obviously the value comes This will be the shear force uh, diagram. So exactly at, at some point it will be 0. So that we need to calculate it. And then the bending moment diagram is. Bending moment at uh, C is 0. And at B is minus 4. And then somewhere over here that we need to calculate it after getting the shear force value. So take this diagram. Either where shear force changes its sign to be considered by using this diagram or you can write shear force shear force at x equal to 0 for which I can consider the section x from a so to the left of the section what are all the forces means R A right up left down positive. So R A left side la upward lurke. plus 3 into x equal to 0. Apo x equal to R A is 5 by 3. 1.20 1. 1.6 yes. Am I right? Or else you can take this similar triangle. Consider the section x here. And either one the 4 minus x. And what about this value? 9 minus 2 putting either 7. In the number the area is 5. So use this for x value. For x meters it is 5. 4 minus x the value is 7 so 5 into 4 minus x equal to 7x 20 minus 5x equal to 7x so 20 equal to 12x x equal to 20 by 12 so which is nothing but 5 by 3 again 1.6 both are the same answer so you can find this point of change of shear force either using this method or this method both are uh, same right either you can use the diagram or you can use this uh, concept where shear force changes its sign their bending moment is maximum so if in the bending in the point you have to find out bending moment so now m at 1.6 meters so, here is 1.6, is 4 minus 1.6 is around 2.4 meters. So, minus 2 into 2 plus 2.4, 4.4 plus RB, RB into 2.4 minus 3 into UDL, UDL for 2.4 meters, 2.4 into 2.4 by 2 so this is the maximum bending moment so in the same point in the flower room we can connect it through because rb lirundhe ingirundhe udl start ayirukku so i can connect it through the parabolic so idu vandu straight line this minus idu plus now where Bending moment changes its sign. That is point of contraflexure. Again, you need to calculate this distance x1. That is x1 is point of contraflexure. 
ஸோ அதை கண்டுபிடிக்கணும் அப்படின்னா இட்ஸ் நத்திங் பட் அட் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் கான்ட்ராஃப்ளெக்சர் பெண்டிங் மண்ட் இஸ் ஜீரோ அப்போ அந்த எக்ஸ் ஒன் அந்த இடத்துல பெண்டிங் மண்ட் ஈக்வேஷன் எழுதுங்க ஆர்ஏ இன்டு எக்ஸ் ஒன் மைனஸ் த்ரீ இன்டு எக்ஸ் ஒன் இன்டு எக்ஸ் ஒன் பை டூ ஈக்வல் டு ஜீரோ ஸோ அப்போ கெட் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ஒன் ஸோ ஆர்ஏ இஸ் நைன் எக்ஸ் ஒன் ஈக்வல் டு ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் எக்ஸ் ஒன் ஸ்கொயர் ஸோ யூ கேன் கேன்சல் திஸ் டூ ஸோ அப்போ எக்ஸ் ஒன் ஈக்வல் டு நைன் பை ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஆன்சர் ஸோ தட் இஸ் தி பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் கான்ட்ராஃப்ளெக்ஷர் Mom, your voice is not audible, ma'am. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So that's all about the overhanging beam. If you have any clarifications or doubts, you please ask me. So I think I uh, have to end the session. Yes? Do you have any clarifications or anything? If so, then I will uh, end the session. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ma'am, can? 
So it also takes a positive or either negative based upon the conditions yes. we have yes, to sir. take in, right? That is, you will be having a hogging moment and sagging moment. That is, you will be having a hogging moment and sagging moment. That is, you will be having a hogging moment and sagging moment. That is, you will be having a hogging moment and sagging moment. That is, you will be having a hogging moment and sagging moment. But the same concept to be followed throughout the problem. That is the thing. Throughout the problem, okay. Yeah, okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, Muthu Selvan, sir. You raised your hand. Okay. I think no more questions, ma'am. Okay, sir. Then can we uh, leave the session? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, madam yes. is not available. So, thank okay, you for sir. the session, ma'am. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. Very informative. Shall we wind up, ma'am? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Thank yes, you all. Sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir.